what you call it. That was, that was, that was you call it. One of time, Robin's free. You was just day up snowing. <laughs> you was just snowing. <laughs> okay, um, so. <clears throat> one of time, Robin's free. That's a good one, though. So, okay, check it. So, I'm, I'm working. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm working a job at this time. And, um. You know, trying, you know, you're trying to do things good, trying to make your mama proud and, you know, stop, stop all this robbing and stuff. And I'm going to, you know, get a job and I work right here, you know. I, so I'm doing my little work thing. And, of course, you know, you have guys all in different fields, different departments into streets, stuff, drugs, you know, whatever. So one dude come up to me, man, and, you know, he just knew of me through my mama. You know, and whatever her friends and people don't say it well. So he come to me, he knew that I had my hands into a lot of stuff. So hey man, check this out trying to get two ounces of coke. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> all right. So, you know, it's gonna be eight hundred P, they're gonna be sixteen hundred. So, you know, he gonna come over to my house tomorrow, you know, all this stuff. So I'm like, okay, man, matter of fact, just me, man, Burger King, right out got me rolling the old national. <laughs> so I end up calling my uh, partner, Lil Tony. Y'all remember that name? Free Lil Tony, matter of fact. Um, so um, I called my partner, man. Lil Tony, like a year or two older than me, so that's my big partner, but he just Lil Tony. So I called Lil Tony, and um, hey, man, I got somebody want to get too old, man. You know, little, little 1600, but we get 80 p real quick and get the hell on, but you know, get in the pocket, man. So he was like, bet, man, you know, however. So um, I asked my little brother, Deuce, Deuce, man, man, Tremaine Knox, he had just was in an accident, so he had a little box ship. He had bought his fur car. Mama had him, got him a box ship. So, hey, man, I need to use the car. He got a little lit, man, a little Tony like that. So it was, it had ended up snowing, man. It had ended up snowing. It's like February, you know what I'm saying? And it had ended up snowing, snow on the floor. I'm talking about like at least two inches of snow it's all over the road. It's stuck. So y'all know how like two inches look, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's stuck on the road. And it's still snowing at the time. And I had old homegirl meet me at Burger King. So we up there. We waiting for him. We probably took him probably, you know, it took him 30, 30, 40 minutes to get there. So we already like kind of mad, agitated. And you start thinking the person ain't going to come, especially like when you start calling the phone, then they stop answering. And they stop answering because they're really down the street. But you start thinking they ain't coming and stuff like that right now. So we were just about to pull off and they start flashing my light. I'm like, where did they go right there? So I'm thinking that home's gonna come by itself because he trusted me because we worked together. You know what I'm saying? So, but he had came with somebody and somebody was driving him, just like um Lil Tony was driving me, my little brother car. So we pull up, I'm like, sure, you know, you gotta get in. Cause you know, I thought he was gonna be by himself, you know, how he him. So I just want now want to get him away from the person that's driving the car with him. So he get in the back seat. So little Tony pulls off in my brother shit. So when he pull off, the car that he's driving, whoever driving, and his driver, they start following us, which was un unsuspected for us. We would think they gonna stay there, they'll do the deal, bring them back like a regular deal, you know, bring them back right there, high up, high up. You know, it's snowing everywhere, man, you know. And it's at nighttime, old national. So when we come out Burger King, we make the right going toward College Park. The car come behind us. So now we look in the rear view and then we look at each other and we both know that we're being followed. So now whatever we gonna do, we either gonna do it or we ain't because we don't got no, we don't got no drugs. We just got pistols. <laughs> so as we as we riding down going past Tower liquor store, you oh national ends by going around this little circle and it ends out on Highway 29 and or Herschel Road. And it used to be a little fruit stand right there that my partner robbed a long time ago and went to hell door. <laughs> but anyway, but um big shots out to Mike Mike man what's going on but my cousin Percy I love you. Come on. But um as we going around that curve, man, I, I, I look back at him, and he nodded his head, Latar nodded his head, man. I just turned around. I just turned around in the, in the passenger side seat with that with that pistol, with that thing, and I just put it on. I grabbed his shirt, just put it on. I'm like, boy, give me all the money. Just give, give me everything right now. Get it to him. Get it to him. And I started getting it from him. Of course, he's scared of with him, so I started getting it from him. But now, the rub is complete because I don't grab the money, and I don't, I don't stash and put it on the seat, front seat. Between me and Lil Tony, you know, this is Bob Chevy back in the day. Now it's a Capri, Capri class, yeah. So, so um, 
You know, we got the long seat. You know, we got the long seat. So I put the money right now when I get out of the money out of the pocket. And I start thinking, you know, well, you know, I, you know what are we going to do next? We got a car following us. I can see the car as I'm robbing him. I can see the car through the back one of my brother's car that's following the lights on us and everything. So right then and there, man, I just say, open the door. Right there. While we were going around that curve. So we were going up more than about 13 to 16, 16 mile power. I just said, open the door. Open the door right now. He opened the door. But I just pushed him out. Boom. That nigga hit the ground. When he hit the ground, he started rolling. Not being funny, but he started rolling. I guess the sweat, the moisture of his coat, he started semi turning into a snowman. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop, man. But, 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 I'm hitting the ground. I'm hitting the ground. I'm start rolling. I'm start rolling. I just, Terry Trudge, just see that beer. When he rolled about three times, I seen he did have like a seven beer. <laughs> but listen, though, but we pulled out. We, we busted left on Hershey. We go to it now. We busted left on Hershey. As I'm looking back, dude, get up, though. Dude, after he get through doing his little road stuff, dude, get up. Shake Frosty off. <laughs> Shake Frosty off. He jump in the car. Right in the passenger side. Boom. They bust the left. We looking back. They coming behind us. But we gone. He ain't come. They right behind us. It's snowing, though. So we really only could go so fast because we stopped. We going to slide. And then we mashed the gas. There's much snow on the ground. And we mashed the gas. It really just going to spin. So we got in like a a slow snow high speed chase. <laughs> we we going down Hershey Road. We bust the left on Lakeshore. For all my people that are familiar with the E Point kind of part side, we bust the left on Lakeshore and ride down Lakeshore. And we come out now. We on Washington Road. Big shots out to my Washington Road pilots. We come out on Washington Road. Bust a right. Then bust another right, we in courtyard apartments, and now we lose control of the car, and it just slide into a parking spot. And that little concrete or uh, 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 brick thing that be in the parking spot, it stopped us. Uh, we out the car running. We out the car running. Oh, to think about it. Let me let me think about it. I'm thinking about that. Check it out. To think about it. He was selling us. He was selling us two O's. He was selling us two O's. Cause we was buying this, right? We poke, cause we had no money. We just had the bills. He was selling us two O's, and we gonna had this, the eight hundred people going in, and we ended up taking it from. Them because now remember this: when we jump out the car, and we run through the apartments, as we running, somebody called out, "Now, hey, boy, hey, tree, Tony, what?" And we looked up, and it's our big triple OG DD Balo. Big shot out the DD Balo, man. Diddy Ball said, hey, boy, what y'all running from? Boy, y'all come up. We said, hey, man, we check out this dude. We check out this dude. He was like, y'all come up, Bill. Come on. And Diddy let us in the house and hid us, man. And when he see what we had, I had an ounce. And Lil' Tony had an ounce. Diddy was like, and then what made me remember because we had to get Diddy some. Diddy was like, boy, both of y'all got to give me seven grams a piece. I'm going to cook it up for y'all. I'm going to whip it and everything. He at that risk. He said, I'm whipping and everything for y'all, but y'all got to give me seven grams of pee. But you know, y'all just hear y'all, bro. Come on. And we like, bet. We let him whip it up for a while we in now. Boom. Gave himself. He gave himself. But we were gone. And then we end up like walking and end up going back to Cotter Park. We left my brother's car because the next day, my mama and my brother went and got it, man. That's real talk, man. What you call it? What you call it? Um, on um, 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 winter robbery right here, underground source TV with your host, producer TV and film producer Don Trish Knox OG platform. <laughs> get at me, man. Like and subscribe, man. This is where we at, man. Kind of fun, right? <laughs>